Hello and welcome to Two Minutes with Tim. Today I want to talk to you about anxiety and how to combat that with the peace of God. So we're going to be talking about Philippians chapter 4 and starting verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We live in a culture that uh, struggles greatly with anxiety. We become anxious people, attempting to control different situations that are completely outside the realm of our control. There are a lot of things that could be causing anxiety for you today, whether it be the pandemic that we've been dealing with, difficulties with relationships, workplace, school, or a variety of other causes. Everyone struggles with some form of anxiety, but here in these verses we see the heavenward thinking perspective of anxiety. We don't need to be anxious for anything. In fact, we are commanded not to be anxious about anything. Instead of being anxious, we're told to pray in every situation and present our requests to God with thanksgiving. If we turn to prayer instead of turning to anxiety and attempting to control things on our own, God promises that his peace will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The peace of God is beyond anything we could ever comprehend. Wouldn't it make more sense to turn to God in prayer and experience his peace instead of suffering through anxiety on our own? This week, you have a choice. You can either choose to be anxious about your situations, or you can turn your situations over to God and allow his peace to work through you and calm your anxiety. Will you do that this week, or will you allow your anxiety to overwhelm you? If you allow the peace of God to guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, you will experience a calmness and a peace of God's presence that you will not find if you just try to work through anxiety on your own. So I challenge you this week to consider praying through your situations and turning them over to God.